God bless you. Good evening. This message is pre-recorded. This message is pre-recorded. Actually, well, I don't have a watch. Uh, actually, it's about 10.30 Thursday night. But anyway, let's go directly to the Word of God. <clears throat> go to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter number 5. And verse number 20. Matthew chapter number 5 and verse number 20. These are the words of Jesus. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisee, you know your righteousness got to go Y'all surpass their right. Their right. Their right. Their right. Not Jesus' right. Their right. Not the right of God. Their right. Their right. Except your rightness shall exceed the rightness of the scribes and Pharisees. Ye shall in no case enter the kingdom of heaven. You're not going to the kingdom of heaven. You're not going to heaven. If your righteousness do not exceed the scribes and Pharisees. Hallelujah. My God. The scribes and Pharisees righteousness. Then they, 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 they cut to the taste. Yeah, we get out of my eyes. Well, let it cut to the taste. They rejected. Jesus. They did believe Jesus, the Son of God. They refused to follow Jesus. They rebelled and fought Jesus Christ. They rebelled against Jesus. Yeah, 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 you, you, you righteous folk. That rebel against Jesus and against Jesus' word. Let me make it good for you. Jesus said, Be perfect. You say, Can't nobody be. You rebelling against Jesus. You don't believe it. Uh, uh, Jesus said, Go see it no more. And you said, Who did he that without sin catch first off? You rebel against Jesus. You want to kill somebody. You rebel against Jesus. You preach you got to keep the law. You rebel against Jesus. Except your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees. Your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. The scribes and Pharisees were hypocrites. What made them hypocrites? Well, they were self righteous. Here, what made them hypocrites? Which is the same thing that make you a hypocrite, hypocrite. They didn't follow Jesus. They didn't follow Jesus. They didn't believe Jesus. They fought Jesus. Yet claimed they were righteous. And they rejected and fought. The Son of God. They didn't obey Jesus' word. Yet they say they were right, which made them a hypocrite, and they were not right. They say, except your right to see the rightness of the scribe. Look at rightness of the scribe and Pharisees. Righteousness of God. 
Righteousness of the scribe and Pharisee, righteousness of God. Your own righteousness, righteousness of God. Except your righteousness. Exceeds and other the righteousness of the scribe and Pharisee. Their righteousness, not God's righteousness. God righteousness through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Did my beloved son hear him? They did hear him. Except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribe and Pharisee. Ye shall in no case ever the kingdom of heaven. You ain't, you ain't going to hell. You're going to hell. All right. First Peter. Go to the book of First Peter. Chapter number 2. And let me give you the title of this talk. The True Saints of God. When it come, you know it. The true saints of God do not pattern their life after nobody. No man. Not even your pastor. The true servant of Jesus Christ do not pattern their life after nobody, not even they pastor. The true servant of Jesus Christ have no mentor. Have no role model no role model. Not even your pastor. A positive valid battle teacher that is not the true saint of God role model. The true saints of God pattern their life after no man. No man. No man. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. For even here unto were ye called, be called Christ, also suffer for us. Leaving us an example. We ain't following no, the truth says God ain't following no example of no pastor, bishop, apostle. Be called Christ who suffered for us, leaving us an example, our example of godly living, of holiness, how we should live, is Christ and nobody else. I know, I know, well, the preachers follow Christ, the, the apostles, the prophet, Palestine, they follow Christ. That's right. And that's who you follow too, Christ. They ain't none of your example. Christ our example. Bishop ain't none of your example. Christ is. Be called Christ. It didn't say be called Bishop, Apostle, Paul. Be called Christ. My mentor is Dr. So and so. My mentor is Bishop So and so. No, he, he your mentor and your teacher and your guide and your leader. Be called Christ. Also suffer for us, leaving us an example. Christ left for this example. Well, my parents tell us, Father Christ, okay. Christ left for us, left for us an example. Then we should follow his steps. Who did no sin? That mean you do no sin. Your pastor tell you ain't nobody without sin. He ain't following Christ. 
The pastor tell you ain't nobody perfect. He ain't following Christ. Christ is our own. Christ is the true saints example. The true saints role model. The true saints leader. The true saints bishop. The two, matter of fact, in verse 25, it say, but now you are returning to the shepherd and bishop of your soul, Christ. Leaving us an example, we should follow his step. He didn't tell you follow nobody else's step. Is that his step? See, when you know Christ's step, you know when your pastor missed step and get off step. You know that. And you call his attention to it. Uh, who did no sin? Uh-huh. We, 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 read, read on down. Keep reading. Keep reading. But, but that got you right there. That got you right there. The true saints of God example is not you, not me, not your pastor, not your bishop, none of the apostles. The apostles preached the scripture, the people at Berea, they searched the scriptures daily to see whether the apostles were telling the truth. Christ left us as an example. Our robe, I say so, I say so often. Say what you want to. Yeah, I've been called arrogant. Oh, you arrogant. Say what you want, it don't matter. I have no role model. I have no mentor. My example is Christ. Yeah, have God feared me and the women taught me? Yes. And what did they teach me? They taught me your example, Christ. <laughs> if they are a man or woman of God, the man or woman of God teach you your example, Christ. Never they teach you your example, Christ. Not me, Christ. I didn't die for you. Church of God and Christ didn't die for you. Christ is your example. Oh, Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground. <laughs> no other foundation can any the man lay that dead, which is already laid in that foundation is Christ. No role mark. Our role model, our example is Christ. Not Bishop. Christ. Not Apostle Christ. Well, and he gave some Apostle, Prophet, Pastor, Teacher, Evangelist. Yeah, but that's not our example. That's not our role model. They, Apostle, Prophet, Pastor, Teacher, Evangelist, they teach us Christ is our example. <laughs> they teach us follow Christ. Obey Christ. They teach us but though we or an angel of him preach any other gospel let him be a curse. They teach us the the depart the, the don't don't keep comfortable with nobody that walk unruly and act contrary to the doctrine of Christ. Uh huh. We hallelujah. And every servant of God preached Christ and not ourselves. Our role model, our leader, teacher, guide is Christ. Yeah. The Holy Ghost 
the comforter even lead us. Christ, the Holy Ghost speaks of Christ. All right. The true saints, role model is not no bishop, no apostle, but it's Christ. The true saints of God, every saint of God, if you are a saint of God, your role model, your example is Christ and him alone. Nobody else. No, it's not bishop. No, no. It's not a pastor, it's not evangelist, it's not pastor teacher. No. It's Christ. And we pattern our righteousness not after the scribe and Pharisee, not after nobody else, but our righteousness is after Christ. His righteousness. Jesus' righteousness. Uh, all right. Now you know. God bless you. Thank you for hearing.